Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dilmar again. And today I'm really excited because I'm gonna show you a video on how to fix VS Code from working in Unity 3D. A lot of people ask me, Dilmar, why is that a complete not working? So I'm gonna show you what we need to do to make it work, such as installing Mono Behavior, and what extensions do you need to install in VS Code, and also what do you need to do in Unity to make it work. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what I'm gonna be doing today, which is to make sure that your VS Code autocomplete works with Unity. So the first thing that I want you to do is, and this is gonna be more specific for macOS users than Windows users, but, and the reason for that is because a lot of users had issues with macOS. So what I want you to do is download the latest version of Mono, and you can go to this URL, which I'm going to be putting in the description of that video. Once you get it, just go ahead and open up the terminal, and then just type in Mono. Make sure that everything, you know, it's coming up with the mono usage. And you can also do mono and then dash dash version. And you can look at the version of mono that I have installed, which should be basically one of the latest versions, which is 6.8.0. So once you get that working, what we're going to do is I want you to go and open up VS Code. And in VS Code, you're going to go into plugins and then plugins we're going to be looking at or actually extensions. And you're gonna be installing a couple of things. You guys can see that it's recommending me that I install C Sharp. And that's the one that you're gonna need. So I'm just going to go ahead and click install. And it's gonna say whether you want to install the light or the dark, I'm gonna do the dark. And then it should install OmniSharp here in just a minute. While that is running, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we need to do in Unity to make this work. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. It's going to be created with 2018.3.12 F1. I'm just gonna say VS Code demo, and we can just put it under code. That's my default or your default folder, and then click on create. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you what needs to happen in Visual Studio Code and also what needs to happen in your Unity project because one of the latest version of the VS Code plugin in Unity, it's actually not working with VS Code and that's what I'm gonna be walking you through. Okay, so it looks like the project I created. Let's go ahead and wait until it opens up. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you here is we need to go into Window and then Package Manager. And by default, Unity is going to install the latest version of VS Code plugin, and it's gonna say 1.20. I haven't been able to make it work with other versions other than 1.13, so maybe by the time that you work on this, it might be working, but the one that works for sure is gonna be 1.13, so go ahead and update it to that. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Update, wait for the for the Unity ID editor components to install. So now we should be on that version and that version I know for sure that is working. So if we go in here and just add a simple script, we can just say demo script and then just hit enter. And then what we can do is, I'm not gonna open it yet. I'm just going to show you a couple more extensions before we do that. The other one that I'm gonna also install is gonna be the debugger. This is not required, but I always install it just in case. So I do that one and I also do the Unity code snippets. So this way this one is installed and then let's do the code snippets as well. This one is really cool because it allows you to, you know, to create model behaviors and the scriptable objects and different things in a very, you know, easy fashion because you can just do, you know, model behavior and it's going to create a class for you automatically. So that is everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out of this and I'm going to go ahead and double click on my script and make sure that autocomplete is working now that I now that I have everything installed. So the first thing that I'm gonna do just to make sure this is working, is let's go ahead and do a private here and then game object. And we'll just do game object. One thing that I notice is that you have to wait a little bit sometimes. And if if that doesn't work after you, you know, you do it once, then we can see. So it looks like it's not working just yet. And let me just try that one more time. So what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and close out of Unity. And that is one thing that I had to do before. I had to close out of Unity after installing the VS Code plugin and then reopen it. So let's go ahead and click on it and open it up and make sure that everything is gonna work. Also make sure that you have VS Code closed because we wanna make sure that everything is gonna work and it's not going to be, you know, kind of working. So, okay, so now that we have that script, let's go ahead and attach the script to the camera just so that we have it attached to something. And then double click on the demo script. And now we should, now everything should be working. So if we go here and I say game object, let's wait until, there we go. So we can see that autocomplete is now working. 
So let me try something else. Let's do private and then perhaps rigid body, rigid body. I was going to try a couple of things just to make sure. This one we probably want to do like player, rigid body. We can say player, game object, and then in here I'll just do something like a component. And then you can see that, you know, we have IntelliSense working successfully. And if I do player, game object, you can see that everything. So we can say five components in children's. And we can say that this is also going to be a game object that we want to find. And then perhaps this is going to be an array. And then child objects. And just make sure that everything, everything is working. And let's see. Yeah, you don't want to do var array. There we go. And that should work. And in children's. Why is this not working? Because, oh, because I was using the type. So I need the actual, the type I was in, I was using the variable. Okay, so yeah, so IntelliSense works. I think this is, let me go ahead and create a different script and make sure that it just didn't magically work on that one. Let's go ahead and create a different one. This one's going to be, maybe this is the enemy a script. And normally you don't put the word script in the scripts. I just happen to do it. So let's go ahead and open this up. And then here we can just do, so you can see that it takes a little bit of time for the, for this to load. So just make sure that you're patient. And then in here we can do, you know, mesh render, and you can see enemy mesh render. And so, so that is working. So if I do enemy render, you can see that all the properties are working just fine. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys today. If you guys have any questions about this or you still have issues with, you know, IntelliSense not working, let me know and I'll, I'll be able to help you out. Thank you guys. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon site where I'm basically posting early access source code and also what I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.